so I remember the day John Petrucci was, he got it, you know, all his amps set up. He had like 15 amps in the studio. He's playing through all of them. And he's just like in some kind of a uh, vicious rock and roll meditation. But he's playing like repeatedly on his lowest string. I think he had the seventh string on it at that point. He's just, brruh, brruh, brruh. I couldn't tell one note the man was playing. But he was so, so totally invested in it that I had to just, I went out and had a cup of tea or something like that and relaxed. But when he emerged, he came out with the riff from Dark Eternal Night. I'm thinking, what is that? What is this man doing? It's probably my Juilliard background. It's like when I hear some of those really distorted, very low tones, I have perfect pitch, and I'm like, what note is that? Are those notes that I learned in school? So he composed this first part of the song, and it was really rocking, and it was wild and crazy, and I thought it was cool. But um, when we were listening back to what he had created, all of a sudden I got this funny idea in my head, and I'm thinking, this rhythm thing, you know, and I'm like, going, God, that's a little quirky. I better not share it with these guys. But it wouldn't go out of my mind. It just wouldn't leave. I wasn't very involved in the first part, you know, because John was in his meditation there. And I, but I had this thing, and I, and I said, you know what? I'll introduce it to Mike Portnoy. He'll, he, maybe he'll like it. So I said, I got this thing. I think I sang it to him first. I didn't even play it. Literally, went, what do you think about going from... He's like... I kind of like that. Then I think I sang it to John. He was like, what? He had the same reaction to my part that I had to his part. To make a long story short, we put the two sections together and he ended up really liking the middle. I ended up liking what was around it. 